what is up guys welcome back to the channel today is going to be a bit of a shorter video but i quickly wanted to discuss something with you guys today i wanted to talk about the turbo just quickly show you guys what all went wrong with it um, it's been a while since i pulled it out and i promise that i'll show you guys what went wrong so i'm quickly going to set up the camera then i'll run through it show you guys what went wrong in the first place and also what we did to fix it now so i don't know if you guys can remember but i blew a boost pop on the car i'll have it linked up in this corner and that's actually what caused the the funny sound that i had in the car at first i thought it was the fuel pump so i put a new tandem pump in the car turns out it wasn't that then i thought it was the clutch and shortly after that i had some clutch issues so i thought okay maybe that was causing the sound which it was not again so I knew the only thing that was left for me was the turbo since I blew the boost pipe off like I said I'll link it up in this corner um, I thought okay it must be the turbo so when I took the turbo off this is what I found so when I took the turbo off we found that the compressor cover held together by eight bolts right around there we found that there was five of them was missing one was keeping it together and then there was two in there that was stripped that we pulled out by hand so what actually happened was when i drove over the boost pot it was still attached to the turbo and then it was attached to the turbo so i shot it off on the front of the cooler it came underneath the wheel and when the wheel grabbed it it pulled off on the turbo and it almost completely pulled off the compressor housing together when I took the turbo in we found out that the core was still fine so we only put a new compressor wheel on it had it balanced and it, everything checked out fine then next up what we did was we changed the outlet on the turbo because the old one was bent so we put a new outlet on there and machined it on the inside so that it's still flowing fine the next thing we did was we skimmed the manifold because we saw that the manifold was warped so you can actually see there how much they ended up taking off from the manifold to get it to sit properly flush against the, the head again and then the other thing that we also did to the turbo all the welding that was around here was starting to show signs of cracks so we redid it all of this welding where the turbo and the manifold meets up and then this welding as well where we plugged off the EGR so I got all that sorted and then I also got a new V-band clamp I actually want to show you guys what the old one looks like so the old one as you can see it was leaking somewhere I'm not sure where but I just decided to replace that so in short that's all I did we fixed the welding we fixed the warp manifold uh, we put a new compressor wheel on then we read it all the bolts on the compressor housing and then we change the outlet on the turbo so hopefully when I put it back probably next week or so everything will be sorted I also took the injectors in this morning so they are being worked on at the moment so I'll update you guys once I get the injectors back and then we'll start assembling the car until then peace out and reflect your passion <laughs> 